Well, we made it to the Bahamas. This is surreal. This is incredible. That looks like a mean pig. Are you little baby? This other one snuck up behind me and bit me on the legs. Oh, babe. Take it to the next destination that life's got in store for you. Welcome back. Just a quick recap on what happened last week. We left the Turks and Caicos Islands for an overnight sail to Acklands Island, our first stop in the Bahamas. We flew the whole way there with just the head sail out. We actually had to try and slow down for the first time to avoid arriving before the sun came up. Elena and I were pretty happy with our new location, Atwood Harbour. It's a great protected anchorage with the longest white sandy beach we had seen in a long time. There were only a few other cruisers in the anchorage and it was good to be able to share some stories, sunsets and drinks with them on the beach. <laughs> Big shark under the boat. This is when you don't want to fall in pants. I got toast inside burning hand. Oopsie. Sorry, Ross. Well, we're leaving. We're going to Clarence Town, which is 65 nautical miles away. It's quite a small town, but apparently there's, you know, like a little store there. We're meeting our friends from uh, Loose Seal is the name of their boat. They're going to be there too, but they left really early this morning. So it'd be good to run into them along the way. Not actually run into, but see them. Farther down and further off, slick plates react in circles. No cycles will be stopped. The movement from the center amplifies the end. You're in the open. So we only had a really kind of rough weather update from Terry on um, Tangaroa and we thought we'd have more wind today so we've left it well it's 10 a.m. now we left it about 9 30 and we're sitting on seven knots at the speed over ground but um Riley thinks that maybe we won't get there before the sun sets because yeah we just thought we'd be going faster right now but there's not much wind so Anyway, we have two options. We can go to, um, like I said, Clarence Town, but the wind is taking us directly to Rum Key, so we have options. We have options. How you feeling, Pants? All right. I just put my head down for two seconds, and that wasn't good, so I'm just like watching the horizon. And I'm gonna be good today. I'm gonna be okay. We've got the code D up, but we can't point as well as we would have liked, so we'd be preferred to going there, but we can only go here, and we're not going as fast as we thought. So I was thinking tens, but it's really only sevens, which means that we can't get to any of the places that we'd like to get, probably by nightfall. The other thing that we could do is just sail overnight, but I didn't think it would be necessary from where we were, so it's a bit disappointing to have to end up doing that because there's so much there's so many islands and reef around you've really got to be on the ball all night so and the reason for all this is because we got to get to florida we're sloths today but it's really fun because we never sit down and watch a tv series so and we're flying the winds picked up and yeah we've just been really like hammering along quite comfortable in the water Nice. We got cabin fever. My eyes hurt. My beard's long. <laughs> so we came up like this, we jibed, and um, we're going to jibe again in a sec and head through this channel here. Eventually, we did decide to sail overnight. We took down our light wind sails so we could have a more relaxing night on watch. If we fly the code D at night, it means that an even more vigilant watch must be maintained. And for us, not in a hurry, it's better if we take it down most of the time. 
just gone into night time. How's your day been? Really good. Big actually. difference between 15 and 25 knots. I feel isn't normal. There? I feel like I'm on land, it's funny. Yeah. It's just, yeah, there's a certain point where it turns <laughs> from really, really good to terrible, and it's really fast. But this is like, a, this has been a really good sail. 25 knots on the old boat, and we would have been like hanging on for dear life. On this one, we're like, you're a little bit uncomfortable, I'm totally fine. And in this, which is 15. We're like, fifteen's a pretty sweet sitting around number. watching movies. I know, and I can't usually look at laptop screens. Yeah. Usually, this is like. Amazing. I think you were just having a bad day the other day. It, it could have been. On top of everything. Mm, not today. So you're gonna keep sailing with me? Yeah. Okay. Ask me next week. <laughs> I'm just about to go and wake Riley up to jump on shift. It's 4:30 a.m. Sorry. Oh, it's been a really relaxing sail. We've just been sailing the south side of Cat Island and it's really deep water so um, there's not much to look out for apart from other ships and I've only seen one so yeah. It was really good to be of some help on this trip because you guys know the last one I was helpless and I do really love sailing and I really love the night watches like you just get so much time to yourself and there's just something mysterious about it like I've just been smashing the podcasts and um, just been deep in thought and it's been nice but now I just cannot hold my eyes open any longer so it's time to wake Riley up. I'm not sure what Anchorage Riley has in mind. He kind of mumbled it to me before he went to sleep but um, we'll figure it out. We're just going to anchor somewhere when the sun comes up. But for now... I'm out. That's it. That's all I got. I've got to go to sleep. Good morning. Good morning, pantaloons. How are you? Good. How's your morning? I've um, got my guidebook here, which I've been going through. We're going to go to Staniel K because we've still got to check into the Bahamas. So we're going to go. It's going to be like chaos here there'll be a million boats i'm sure but this is the place where there's the pigs and thunderball grotto which is all pretty like unimaginative and just the exact thing that everyone else does when you go there but you're pretty keen to see the pigs aren't you Elena? yep i need to see the pigs and we got to check in anyway so we'll go to staniel k i've heard it's amazing staniel key um i have heard that it is stunningly beautiful We'll go check that out. I've been on the sat phone and uh, another mate of mine's having a kid. So I sent him a little congratulations, Scotty and Casey. Um, and we have the same due date. And we've got the same due date. I cannot believe it. Absolutely. That is crazy. I've li I lived with Scotty for about six years. So yeah, it's weird that we've got the same due date of a child. <laughs> I think we synced up. Mm, must have. We synced men menstrual cycles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Four meters beneath the dagger boards which is pretty shallow I'm getting a little bit nervous it's all right we'll get used to this navigating in shallow water business we're not used to it we're used to like long distances and deep water <laughs> well we made it to the Bahamas this is surreal congratulations yeah. Riley and I were just saying how we feel like we're dreaming right now like this it's just one of those places like the, the blue water and it's just yeah it's really surreal um, but I have to admit, I've seriously dreamt of coming to the Bahamas since the movie Into the Blue with Paul Walker and Jessica Alba. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was young. Really? I was young, yes. 
<laughs> Paul was amazing in that movie. But anyway, we are here now in the same water that they would have been frolicking around in. Somewhere nearby, I'm sure. So, I'm excited. Come up with some kind of pad thai concoction here. You rate it, Roz. This? Mm. Uh, I'm going to give this a 10, Alana. Really? Yeah. If we went to a restaurant and they served this up, I'd be raving. Oh, thank you. And to be honest, you're knocking up quality restaurant food more often than not. <laughs> I need to be careful with my compliments or you might take your foot off. <laughs> not happy. Just woken up and it's raining and the sky is completely covered in clouds. Thunderball Grotto is a limestone cave that you've got to swim underwater to get inside. It got its name from the 1965 James Bond film Thunderball that had an underwater fight scene filmed in it. This is incredible! The gloomy weather really made this cave all the more magical once inside. And that's it, that's El Grotto. I'm impressed, I did not realise it was that beautiful. I'm stoked we were the only ones there. And now we gotta swim back to the dinghy. Hopefully the current is still the same direction as it was. We have falafels for lunch. If you guys can get actually, if you guys can get your hands on falafel mix, it's brilliant I'm to sure have on the boat. I'm sure they can get their hands on falafel mix. Well, some people than might we can. be on a two emotion island <laughs> where there's not even tomatoes. So, what's the correct pronunciation of a two emotion? I guess two emo the two emotos. Two I like your two emotion. I don't know if that's correct, but anyway, if you can get your hands on some of these, they're dry and you keep them in the pantry forever, and they're amazing. Good for boats. To handy dressing, yes. Okay. 10. I need a good healthy salad. I've been drinking so much beer lately. You're in the habit after your parents left. Hmm. I'm gonna move in a bit closer over here because it's just, we're just getting a little bit of uh, swell and current, I think as well, from over there. And I'm navigating from inside so I don't have to get wet as well. <coughs> We have not had a full day of rain like this for so long. Like I really can't remember a day where it's just rained all day. So I'm wondering like if this is, cause I've heard that the Bahamas are in the middle of the year during the hurricane season, it's their rainy season and it's quite horrible. <laughs> so I'm wondering if this is, if we're experiencing that or it's just a, it's just a random day of rain. I don't know. It's quite an art moving like letting your boat come backwards on the chain without it jagging and drifting off to the side so you just sort of like got one engine in forward because it wants to come back sideways so you got one in forwards you want to be coming backwards but not too fast and you just get it perfect and then uh, then you come forwards and put the uh, bridle on 
but there's a certain amount of time between before you put the bridle on and running forwards to put it on where the chain can if you're too far sideways the chain can scrape underneath your hull mm, it it's is not, not it's just it's it is it's it's good fun getting it's fun it i really yeah, enjoy exactly it exactly it's Riley, i don't know if i trust the pigs that looks like a mean pig oh my gosh hello hey buddy be careful i heard they bite yeah they do <laughs> Come here. <laughs> We're supposed to bring food, aren't we? Sorry. Alright, should we go walk on the beach? Yeah, I think they climb in your tender though. Oh, look at the big poo floating! Oh! <laughs> Did that come from you? So this is Pig Beach. I can see two big mama pigs or daddy pigs and I can see some piglets over in the corner so I'm gonna go try and have a look at them hopefully I don't get chased down <laughs> hello don't come too close <laughs> you're very cute are you little babies <laughs> So what just happened? Well, I'm not very happy. The pigs, they, we went over, Elena went over to play with the baby ones and the big ones stole, we had some trash in the um, tender. So it ran off into the bushes and I chased after him and whilst I was collecting rubbish and mucking around, this other one snuck up behind me and bit me on the leg. <gasps> oh, babe. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Should we try again tomorrow? No, <laughs> I'm not interested in these pigs at all. I would not want to go swimming with that bloody thing. Seriously. I'm glad they've had their like, tusks and whatnot removed. Could have been a damn sight worse. Thanks for watching guys. If you like that video, hit the little thumbs up button. That is so important at our end and so easy for you guys to do. I don't want to jump on and beg you to do it all the time, but just believe me when I say that, that really, really helps our videos out. So if you can remember to do that every time, that would be greatly appreciated. And also drop us a comment, because that too helps. And we're very interested in your thoughts and opinions on whatever it is that we've been discussing. Join us next week as we make our way towards Florida.